Aloha! Michelle Hernandez here and welcome to Life is Constant Hawaii TV. This channel is about bringing you hope, joy, and love. Today we're going to be talking about um, some gifts from the Holy Spirit and specifically we're going to cover one of the word gifts from the Holy Spirit. So stick with me and let's check it out together. All right, today we're going to cover a topic that I love. It's about gifts from the Holy Spirit. And I know I've done videos in the past about some of these, but we're going to uh, go a little deeper in it, and I'm going to break it out in different categories that I've recently read about. One of the categories of the Holy Spirit gifts is sometimes called word gifts. And one of those word gifts is the gift of encouragement, or um, also known as the gift of exhortation. So when we think about the gifts from Holy Spirit, remember we serve a three-in-one God and Holy Spirit is his own person. The Bible talks about grieving the Holy, Holy Spirit. It's not just some uh, abstract thing. I mean, this is a person that we hold a relationship with or we should be holding a relationship with as well. And gifts are, get, are things that are given to us. Now, the Bible references the like she, they talk about the human body using us as an example. Like and as a as a human body, we have arms and legs and um, and organs and a head and a mouth, and we have all these pieces of our body to do our functions on Earth, right? And but and they all work together to make us a whole human person. So the Bible, and specifically in the Book of Romans, it talks about how the human body is much like the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is all the believers, the sons and daughters of Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father and, and working with Holy Spirit. You know, and it was in, they do this comparison to put the point of that in the body of Christ, just like the human body functionality, each member of the body of Christ will be granted unique and wonderful gifts and those gifts come from Holy Spirit and so in the book of Romans it starts breaking down all the gifts and it's really cool because I love talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit because I love doing self-reflection on oh do I have this gift or do I want this gift and you can always pray for the gift to, to, to receive it but some you'll see that you just kind of already have because our Father and the Holy Spirit has already given us this gifting. Now, you do, you, sh you need to be um, a daughter or a son of God, and, and so if you haven't already, I'm going to put that salvation prayer in the description for you to read through, and then if you're ready, and I encourage you to do so, you know, say it out loud, believe it in your heart, and you too can be a son or a daughter of the King of Kings. But once you've done that, then you're going to want to encounter Holy Spirit, and you want to bring Holy Spirit more fully into your life, and get the gifts and uh, we all kind of have all of them or we can have all of them it's not a special person that gets us the special gift I mean our father loves us all equally we're all his favorite so we can ask for any of them but you will be able to um, in time just be able to see well am I really just naturally in alignment with this and so the first one I wanted to cover is the, and we're going to cover all the ones in the category of word gifts now I'm just going to do one of the word gifts today in this video, and that is the gift of encouragement. What does that mean? That means that it's an ability to come alongside a person or another believer and to um, encourage them and lift them up, you know, and and you know, lift them up about themselves, about their abilities, encourage them to stay strong in their faith as they walk the earth. They are, you know, you're, the gift of encouragement, a lot of times that we just have an ability to be like a person's cheerleader and to lift them up. Uh, you know, when they, the Bible uh, was written in, in Greek, a portion of it was at least, and when you look at the Greek word of this gift of encouragement and the word that they use for encouragement, I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. But as you interpret that and, and uh, define that, it can be defined as coming alongside a person, um, encouraging a person, exhorting a person, like lifting them up and, and uh, consoling a person, um, stirring up faith, you know, stirring their faith up. You know, the, 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 you know you have this gift because, you know, you, you're just not afraid to kind of 
speak out and like and talk to a person and you also you kind of give them a little extra boost too like you're going to challenge them a little bit like not cruelly or anything but you're going to challenge them to get out of their comfort zone and and really go after that their destinies or or whatever uh whatever the mission is at the time right like you're gonna you, you just have this natural cheerleader um or just a encouraging uh, spirit within you that you just come on in and you can just you always come and and lift people up and make them feel good like you can you know you have this gift when people say wow I just feel so good when I'm around you because somewhere in it you are encouraging them like this being around you motivates them to be a better person or or do or be victorious in whatever they're trying to accomplish and this is a gift from Holy Spirit. So this is like supernatural stuff. It's not coming from like you reading, you know, uh, um, how to influence people books or it's not coming from here. It's coming from here in your spirit. And it's just a natural thing. Also, the ones that have this gift, I think, too, like they're really good at um, not looking in within themselves. Like, you know, just because somebody succeeds at something doesn't mean it takes away from you. So you're not looking at a... Uh, false sense of importance within yourself you don't even reflect on yourself when you see somebody um, even struggling or if you see somebody um, being successful at something and you just want to let them know that how great of how great they did and, and congratulate them with a genuine heart you're doing so in a way uh, with the gift of encouragement because it doesn't even affect you at all like in your self-image your your self-esteem it has nothing to do with you and this is this is a healthy way I think of seeing anybody's accomplishments by the way like we shouldn't turn uh, someone else's success or their accomplishments into our own weaknesses or failures or lack lack uh, lacking spirit or whatever you want to call it you know I I just love this gift the gift of encouragement because it's just it just embodies true genuine love for another person and it also shows that you bring your own identity from being a daughter or a son of, of God who loves you as is so that you don't have any like um, baggage that you're carrying around regarding your self-worth because your worth comes from um, Jesus Christ himself who loves you as is and so that frees you up to be able to be that Get the give the gift of encouragement to others as you know Jesus Holy Spirit and Father God wants us to do so the gift of encouragement is a really cool gift and I and it happens to fall under the category of the gift of words so I must look at I'm like excited about this series because we're gonna uh, get through a lot of them and I'm always excited about just I just love self-reflection and I love thinking oh do I have this or don't I have this or you know like I think I think I have this because I really have always kind of always wanted to cheer people on and like when you watch a performance from somebody for example like I love singing and when I watch a singer just do beautiful things so I just even like tears come to my eyes because I'm so happy for them because they're they have such beautiful giftings and so gift of encouragement is like so awesome it's like it helps others I mean everybody else loves to be about around a person that has the gift of encouragement but also it helps yourself because you just know you can see freely the beauty that lies within another brother and sister especially a brother and sister of Christ but we're to give that gift of encouragement and spread it to everyone even if they haven't said yes to Jesus yet we still need to give activate our gift and then and release it on earth as we walk this physical world so that's all it's that's all i really had on this gifting but i'm excited to announce the new series that i'm going to be releasing and so uh, if you haven't already like the channel share the channel let's get the news out on you know how great jesus is how great god is and and this, these videos that i'm giving just gives you just a little little piece of knowledge and wisdom as to how god operates also if you haven't download my book the father a father's love it tells you more about me and about how to embrace the heavenly father's love for yourself so until next time uh, aloha and mahalo